Hey everybody, this is Geegan here, and welcome back to my channel, and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And as you can see, I just got a haircut recently. I actually just got this haircut this morning. My mom cut my hair for me since I couldn't go to any barber shops since they're all closed still because of the virus. Well, COVID-19 to be exact. So, um, yeah. Where was I again? Oh yeah. And welcome back to a brand new episode of Keegan's Movie Reviews, a series where I review movies and give my opinions on them. And this is Season 1, Episode 13, Movie Review Number 13. And there are four episodes left, and then we'll be on the season finale for Season 1. Now, before I show you the movie that I'm going to be talking about in today's episode, I just want to say this episode took a little longer for it to make because I was kind of busy and never really got the time to making this video so I do apologize that this video took a little longer than expected I just never really had the time to making the video so now I'm finally making this review so anyways today's movie I'm gonna be talking about is a movie I watched about two months ago and is a movie I've been wanting to talk about for a little while now and this movie I'm going to be talking about is, in my opinion, one of the best Japanese horror movies ever made. And that movie we're going to be talking about today, ladies and gentlemen, is Audition. As you can tell, this is a, this is the Arrow Video release on Blu-ray. And this is the only Arrow Video, Aero Video Blu-ray release that I own. So, yeah. Anyways... Audition is a horror movie that was released in 1999, and it was directed by, uh, what's his name, Takashi Miike, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and this is based on the 1997 novel of the same name, which was written by Ryu Murakami, and I know a lot of these names are, a lot of these names are hard for me to pronounce, so just try to bear with me as I pronounce them as the best I can. So, yeah, without further ado, let's talk about the movie itself, shall we? So, anyways, this film follows a man named Shinheru, Shiheru, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And this film takes place seven years after he loses his wife at the very beginning of the movie. And his son suggests that he, that he remarries somebody. But uh, he has been in the dating scene for several years, and he's trying to figure out a way to find, to meet the, the new one, the new person he will marry. So he decides to team up with one of his co-workers and make an audition for like a fake TV show or something, and make it cons make all the people who audition only women, and that way he'll be able to find the girl to date or ask out on a date and then eventually he meets a young woman named Asami and she seemed like an, an innocent 24 year old woman well Asami isn't quite what she seems and now I will say this film starts off very very slow but it builds up to the climax around the end and it gets better as the minutes go by and the movie is only 115 minutes long or an hour and 55 minutes long and um, I actually really really enjoyed this movie I thought the acting is really really well done uh, it has some pretty good cinematography and the lighting is good and I really like the montage where they're doing the auditions like the I really like the the montage scene in this movie. It's one of the best montage scenes I've seen in a movie. And surprisingly, it's not scary in my opinion, but it is really, really creepy. It's disturbing and kind of gross at times. Like the scene, um, now if you have a weak stomach, like if you, if you don't want to get grossed out, you might want to turn down your volume and click to... Whatever the timeline, well, the, uh, well, you know what I mean, yeah. There's a scene where, where, uh, she vomits in a bowl and this, this monster or something like this zombie-like, this murdered creature or whatever, 
eats the vomit and like, ugh, it's, it's nasty. But, uh, I don't really have much else to say about it other than I really, really enjoyed this movie. I recommend it to any horror fan out there. I really, really enjoyed this movie. And, uh, it's a really underrated horror movie. If you like horror movies, I'd suggest you give this one a check, check this one out. It's really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Although, it is pretty, it's really slow, but it gets better the longer you watch it. But, uh, not much else I can say about it, other than I really, really enjoyed it. So, check it out. And I'm going to rate this movie a 7.3 out of 10. So, uh, that's going to be it for this review. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a like, please leave a comment below, and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you would like to check out my last review, which was on Marriage Story, the link to that will be in the description down below. And my next review will be on the movie Sexy Beast. So, Sexy Beast will be my next review coming up soon. And, um, yeah. So, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.